Well, Jonathan, the big issue of the week in the United States has not been Super Tuesday, but clearly it's been the size of Donald Trump's hands. Now, you must have seen those up close. Now, is it, are yeah. they small? And does it preclude him from being the leader of the free world? That's the question Australians want to know the answer to. Well, just so your readers, uh, your viewers know, uh, this is a long-running issue for Donald Trump. Uh, back in the 1980s, uh, Graydon Carter, who's the editor of Vanity Fair magazine, back then he was an editor of another magazine, he described Donald Trump as a short-fingered vulgarian. And Trump uh, took great offence and for the 25 years hence has been sending Graydon Carter photographs of his hands circling in uh, gold sharpie the size of his fingers and saying, see, not so small. But it's now become an election issue and Donald Trump last night in the debate assured the American public that in fact he not only has perfectly adequate sized hands but also has a perfectly adequate uh, size uh, penis. <laughs> lovely. <laughs> That's lovely. Well, well, of course, John... Ha Sorry, Richard, you go ahead you on, on that note. Well, it, it happened. It's Christopher, on, on I, I'm not going to, like, use innuendo. I, I respect your viewers. I'm not going to use innuendo. It was that, that happened no, last night. Enough. I covered it. Well, of course, John yeah. Howard and, John Howard and uh, Bob Hawke both had small hands. But, you know, they were very successful Australian Prime Ministers. So, you know, is this really... <laughs> Can, I, I think he could probably be the president of the United States and still have small, delicate hands. I, yeah. I think it's a, I think it's a bit of a red herring myself. Yeah. But Richard, I don't want to interrupt you yeah. with your next question. 